What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is 207 Disc Golf's coverage of the 2021 Vacation Land Open. We're about to get into the back nine, so if you haven't already watched the front nine, go ahead and stop this video, check the link in the description for the front nine, and get caught up. Through the front, we have Josh Seeley and Jason Dore leading the way at four down. Just behind them is Matt Enman at three, and Christian with a nice bounce back after an early w double bogey. Starting off here on hole 10, 340 foot par three. A little bit of OB early, that gully that just got cleared by, by Door there is OB. Door absolutely parks it, keeping that hot hand going. Up next is Sealy. A little bit overturned and catches that last tree to miss. The hole opens up pretty well, both left and right. You just gotta beat those last trees. Unfortunately, Sealy does not. He'll be having a wide open look for an up, up and down easy three. Matt Enman. Very similar line, just puts it out a little bit wider left and lets the disc work back right. A little outside the circle, not the ideal tee shot, but it'll give him a, a decent jumper at a birdie. Last up, Christian Olsen. Again, very similar line. Just slightly overturned. Um, I guess the, the fairway or the green opens up a little bit more on that right side than the left. There's a few more trees on the left to contend with, so the safe miss is uh, on the right there, and that's exactly what our players just did. Sealy with a great looking touch forehand up shot. It's right by the basket. And first to putt for the birdie opportunities will be Olsen. Looking at about between 40 and 45, I would say. Oh, maybe just a little bit too much nose up. That putter just stalls out and dies just before the basket. It's a decent offer there. Edmund for a two. Jams it. Good to see Edmund sink one there. Putter's been a little bit hot and cold today. I'm sure he's real happy to start off this back nine with a good birdie there. Door with an absolute park job. Tapping in his two. So that will cut Sealy's lead in half as he taps in his three now. Only one stroke lead over Mr. Enman. Zone. <laughs> my hand up like, oh, that felt good. Sealy talking about how he thought he was going to throw that one in. Very good upshot with the zone, he said. 11, par 3, 320 feet. Jason oh! Door off the basket. Oh! Yeah! Dead center cage. A couple inches higher. Sure and we're looking at an ace there. That hole. And that is going to bring us to our first ever 207 replay. You love that, right? Not too corny. Just misses this tree. Look, he nicks the branches maybe two inches from smacking that tree. Oh. And just center cage. Absolutely smashes the basket. Stays close by. He's going to have a real easy two there. And what a it shot. In the that was hard. exciting stuff right there. Being so close to the basket. That was pretty crazy. Up next, Edmund throwing a little forehand flex here. 
just catches a late tree and robs him. That was going to work out beautifully. He was going to be well within the circle. Now he's probably going to just be looking at a layup for an easy three. Sealy. Ooh. Ooh. Early left side for him. Maybe a slight early release. Kicks a tree. Kick early kick Hard right. right. As you hear me telling the other spectators. Uh, he's pinched off for sure on the right side, but not as bad as he could be. And there is OB left, so at least he didn't go left. Olsen up next. Similar line to door. A little less height. Just scoots up next to the basket perfectly. That is a great shot. I got that one good. The camera position doesn't do really the difficulty of that shot justice. There is a very tight gap, yeah, I just, I very just early the off the tee. You can get into trouble quickly. Just put the lens cap OB back lining on. pretty much the whole left side of the fairway and deep of the basket. And that's what Sealy's going to contend with here as the awkward stance and the awkward angle with that wide swing there. Uh, he leaves it a little high and a little turned over and he scoots down the hill, but he will be safe looking back at the basket, coming uphill at it, probably at about 28, 30 feet. Sorry for the shaky camera work. I tried to edit out a little bit less of this so I don't have to talk constantly. And then, well done. Easy little pitch up. And I'm probably not doing a great job of not talking constantly. Commentary is a work in progress, guys. Sorry if you don't like it. Hopefully it'll get better, and if it doesn't, then I don't know. Mute it. You know my friend Joey Terrier? Plays at the DR a lot. Oh, yeah, that's uh, DR. Yeah. I know he says he plays with the Enmans. I wasn't sure if yeah, he's talking to Matt. Well, my friend Joey who plays at DR a lot. Shout out Joey Terrio. Killing it this year, his rookie year. Yeah. And Sealy making good on yeah, that really putt. I taught him everything he knows. Really? <laughs> I spent a few rounds on Really there solid putt there pitch. from about 30 I'm feet uphill. Door. Yeah. yeah. With his two like, uh, checking for damage to the disc after smashing that basket. So, yeah, giving it a hug, hoping for a little bit better luck next time. Man, that was close. Olsen also tapping in his two. So we got Olsen and Dor with twos. Celia and Inman with threes there. One stroke separation still for that first place spot. Celia holding on. Hole 12, par 3, 429. Door wanting some flip out of that disc. This is a really demanding tee shot. You need about 430 feet of dead straight flight. There's not a lot of room there to move the disc left to right. So you gotta try and hyzer flip something a long ways uh, and try and finish in the fairway. Olsen also wanting a little more flip, maybe threw it a little low. He's going to be in a decent position though, in the fairway, not in the trees. Edmund releases a little higher. Nice and flat, but the disc does not turn and fades out. He's going to be in those woods a little bit. They've been cleared out quite a bit on that left side in the last couple of years. Alex Olsen doing a ton of work out here on this course constantly. If you have not made it out to Devil's Grove recently, you are missing out. Sealy put some turn on the disc. It's stable though, it fights out at the end, gets a good forward skip, and he will be in jump putt range. He's probably looking at about 60 feet. Olsen with a little backhand approach. Nice and easy. Should have his three there, no problem. 
Edmund from the woods. I decided to try and film from the other side of the fairway. Probably wasn't going to be able to see much from inside the woods. But this was a tricky angle too for me to film from. Throws it right at me. Trying to track the disc. So his disc was in the bottom right of the frame there. He's looking at about 25 feet. It's a good upshot. Good out from the woods there. Door right at the edge of the woods is able to jump putt his way out. Throws it up. Ooh, draws metal. Really good bid from that distance. That's probably 65 or 70 feet right there at least. So to draw metal is, is always nice. Sealy nearly in line with the white or the blue tee pad for hole 13. A little bit of a jumper, stepper type of shot. Gravity of that hill there pulling the disc down and left. Uh, OB long, so it's hard for him to really be aggressive on that one. Not surprised with that result. Putting woes have come back. See Just seems a little come bit tentative. The smallest amount of hesitancy in that putt that if you don't commit 100%, boy, do I know all about that. Missing low and left. Just right. not following through. Okay. Just letting you know. Edmund's a great player, though. He's going to hit some big ones, I'm sure. Sealy for his three, and then Enman for an unfortunate four there. Gives Sealy another stroke. He's a little more comfortable now at two strokes. Well, 13, par three, 420. Door throws a beauty, gets an air bounce, a forward skip, and a roll. He's going to be pin high. That's a crush. This is a really fun hole, one of my favorites on the property. Really fair hole, pretty wide open, lets you rip on something. You hear Olsen calling for them to miss. Pulls it a little wide right, just skims a couple of leaves. That takes a little bit of speed off the disc, but he's still going to be in jump putt range there. Right center cut in the fairway. Sealy, almost the same shot as hole 12. A little higher, carrying forward. Beautiful. Nearly gets there in the air. He's going to be looking at about 20 feet pin high left. And Edmund taking that right side. Beautifully just fading right in front of those trees. Finishing forward. It's going to give him about a 25 to 30 foot look. And here's Olsen from about 40. Whoa. Gotta get it there. Good bid. Just a little bit off. And he needs this putt. And it looks like the same mistake, just a little bit. Small lack of commitment. This just fades out left side, had the height, had the speed. Cameraman. To you. Yeah. Not just saying that because you have an email right? Yes. Door wants that back immediately. This is a great two to get, and there's no reason he should not have made that putt. That one's going to sting. Sealy, the only one to capitalize. A beautiful drive. That's a 
really good two there. Not quite in the bonus two category. Uh, hole 13. Played .03 strokes over par. Um, birdie percentage was fairly small. We're talking about 10% birdies. So, I don't know, I guess that would qualify as a bonus. If, if only 10% of the field is getting it. Well, 14. One of the only par four, one of the only two par fours out here. 505 feet uphill. Probably plays nearly 600 feet. Uh, Sealy didn't look to be getting aggressive off the tee there. Just kind of throws one in the middle. Almost fades out into the trees like Doors shot is doing. Just, uh, just missed his line. Went straight at those trees and those those trees are absolute jail. So thick in there. He's, he's probably looking at just a pitch out, unfortunately. Olsen skies it, calling it for flip, but a little bit too much nose up. Some Great forward penetration there, though. He's way up the hill. There's nothing wrong with that shot right there at all. Henman forcing the disc over. That right side opens up quite a bit. He'll have a nice, easy look. You can go forehand or backhand. And there's Doors pitch out. Well executed. Really all he had. You can kind of see right there, all those tiny little trees are so thick together. and There's no way you can get a free swing and throw a disc from there. you, you got to pitch out. Enman from probably 250 up the hill. Beautifully done. Straight at the basket, probably with a mid, and it settles right there nice and close. Should be a stress-free three. Sealy, a little low, but gets the skip, a forward skip, and he'll be putting. Tor playing the hyzer away from the OB. There is OB right of the basket. Doesn't quite get the fade, he all the fade he wanted, but he's right up there next to the basket as well. Easy three. Enman. Got way up the hill. Sorry, Olsen got way up the hill here. This is a great spot to be. And maybe he's just not used to being this close to the basket, but he throws it about 35 feet long. He is safe, though. He got a little close to that OB. He's, he's probably 8 to 10 feet away from that OB line. Those stakes there you see are the OB. So he's got a long comebacker which can be frustrating after such a great drive. Looking at a nice easy upshot, you think, and then you put yourself long for a putt. Let's see if he can convert. Great in the heart. Beautiful putt. Got the crowd fired up. Unfortunately, taking a four after having to pitch out. I don't know if I said that he would have an easy three after his last shot. I forgot about his shot into the woods, so that's a four for Door. This is a par four, so it's not a bogey. Sealy with a good three there. Hinman as well. Sealy now has a fairly comfortable three-stroke lead with only four holes to go. See if Matt's able to put any pressure on him at all here on this hole. He's going to need to do something, and that was Sealy throwing, so this hole is going to be impossible to film from up there. It's like throwing down a mountain with an eight-foot gap to hit. Uh, that was Sealy there. He made the initial gap, hit a late-ish tree. He's going to be in the middle of the fairway. Easy three, worst-case scenario. 
And that is Christian Olsen's shot not making that small gap. Unfortunately, he's going to be right there near the shorter tee pad. And this is a very clutch shot from Mr. Enman. Here's the gap, get some nice turn, nice committed shot there. Door right behind him gives that extra height and really carries down there, scoots up 15 feet. Gonna have an easy two. Here's Olsen. This second shot, he is still in the woods and does not make it through. Oh, that's painful. Olsen now lying three. He's got to throw over OB. Downhill turnover shot with OB long of the basket. And the touch on this shot was just incredible. The video does not do that shot justice. He made it look easy, but that was, that was a thing of beauty right there. Seeley makes a nice, quick, easy decision to just go ahead and toss this one up and lay it up for a three. Sorry about the camera movement there. He's got a three-stroke lead, and Matt still has a sizable putt. This is definitely in that tester range, especially putting downhill with OB long. It's not too close to the basket, but you catch a little bit of metal, catch an edge, and roll away. Say goodbye to your tournament. Yeah, and no fear. You can see the double oh, fist baby. pump there. He is psyched. He knows how much that putt meant right there. That keeps him in this. He's only got two strokes to make up. And he's still got three more holes to do it. And they're challenging holes at that. Door also collecting two there. Those are great birdies. That is a very difficult hole. Also averaging over par. Uh, slightly better birdie percentage of 21.62% here on hole 15. Seely taking his time a little bit there with that short one. Olsen with the unfortunate bogey there. 15, hole 16, par 3, 255. Uphill, probably plays like 275. Got Edmund going with a forehand here. Haven't seen many of those out of him. Throws it high. It's a black disc. It was very difficult to track. That is inbounds. There is OB along the left side of this fairway. Um, so the the forehand kind of makes it for the safer play, allowing that disc to naturally fade. Door here going with the forced turnover on something slowish, maybe a mid a putter. Unfortunately, the, the disc fights out a little bit at the end, and he finds himself out of bounds. Sealy, the really aggressive turnover. Gets right over on it, and that's a great shot. He is safe. Kind of hard to see from here, but he's looking at about 25 feet. And Olsen, similar, almost the exact same line with a slightly less stable disc, and he pretty much parks that shot. That was a great drive. Difficult to get something to carry on Anheuser uphill for that long. Over the snake, you said, Sealy? Yeah, right directly over the snake. Definitely give or take within that three feet. Door is going to try and save a three here. He's probably looking at about 40 feet, slightly uphill. Gives it a really good bid. 
Joss catches that front cage, and that's going to be really disappointing bogey there on one of the easier holes here on this back nine. And then with the huge putt, big time two there, back-to-back -back birds, 15 and 16. Actually, that's a turkey for Mr. Enman now. He is heating up at the right time. Putting a lot of pressure on Seeley. And it looks like that pressure might have gotten to him just a little bit. Seeley leaving that, di that putt short. Catching front cage. And we've got a ball game. One stroke separates Matt Enman and Josh Seeley with two holes to go. There's no OB on hole 17. But there is a Mando and OB on 18, so there's potential for some movement here. Enman, unfortunately, catching those small trees on the right there on this par four that's 450 feet up through that gap that you see in the middle of your screen and then the basket it goes the fairway is shaped like an s and we see olsen going with something maybe like a mid there it seems like a little slower going for position Setting himself up for an upshot through the gap. Seeley playing Heiser. Gets the most unfortunate kick off that skinny tree. Kicks him right into the thick trees. And Dor also, like Olsen going with something slow, playing for position in the middle of the hill there. Here's Enman after hitting that early tree, but luckily finding the center of the fairway. Kind of. He's, he's fighting against some difficult footing there, some stumps and rocks. From a standstill. Turnover back in. Beautifully executed. Maybe could have used a little more height and a little more power to get to the green. But he's going to give himself a look. The video does not do that shot justice. That that gap is very small and very specific, and Seeley hit it perfectly to give himself a chance to still get a birdie. Oh, door! You could see the disc go just past the basket there. He had a, a tight angle there, looking at it. That was a great run. You were fine. No, you're totally fine. Olsen in the perfect position. Nice, easy putter touch shot. What's happening? P2 Beautifully yeah. done. And then if he can get a three here, if he can extend this birdie streak, it would be huge. And the disc just fades out. Just barely in front of the basket. That was right on line. So close. And that allows Seeley to play the smart play here and just lay up and take his one stroke into the 18th hole. Olsen with a really nice clean three, just how you draw it up. Taps in his par. Door taps in his birdie. And we are off to hole 18. One stroke separating Matt Enman and Josh Seeley. Christian Olsen on the box first. 
Nothing to lose. Gonna get aggressive here. Throws a great shot. Forward skip. And a little bonus roll at the end there. This is 388 feet. There is a Mando tree towards the right side of the fairway, late. Door throwing something over stable, catching some tree love there, redirects him more towards the basket. He's gonna have a jump putt at that. And then this is an important shot and he gets the worst kick off that tree. Slightly overturned and it hits that tree and kicks hard right. All Sealy has to do is put it in the fairway. Looks like a mid, low and hard, straight into the hill. Well done, that's the smart shot. And now Enman, the tree that's nearly in the center of your frame with the signage on it, that's the Mando tree. He has to go left of that tree come around it to the basket that's on the right with the hill the green running away to the right this is a very tricky touchy forehand shot oh. yeah. and he just grip locks it a little bit yeah. sends himself way up to the top of the hill a three is not out of the question but Sealy just has this a jump butt pitch up He does nicely, just rolls off the chips, but he's still maybe 14 feet from the basket. He's going to have that three. You gotta go for it, right? And you can hear Dor saying, you gotta go for it. Enman has to make this. He could still, you've seen crazier things happen. Enman could make this putt for his three. <coughs> Put all the pressure on Sealy to make his putt to hold on for the win. Forty-five, fifty feet downhill. Obi behind the basket catches the edge of the rim, skips off, but stays safe. That doesn't matter a whole lot, though. The tournament is pretty much wrapped up here with that miss. Sealy could lay up and still take the win at this point. Door sailing over the basket. He's not happy with that, but you know, he's sitting at 15 down. Hey. And Olsen yeah, putting himself at 14 down. Oh, shit. I haven't been keeping track of the scores at all. Inman up to butt for his four. And the uphill got him. The disc just came up short. What a great competitor though. I was amazed all day by his composure, his sportsmanship. Matt Enman, a great representative for Thought Space Athletics. Door in to finish his tournament at 15 down. A very respectable showing, just a stroke here and there. That's all it ever comes down to. And your 2021 Vacation Land Open winner, Josh Seely. Finishing at 18 down. Hey, all rounds. right, our 2021 Vacation Land Open NBO champion, Josh Sealy. Thank you. Your TD there, Jamie Can't White, handing sponsors. off the golden. Yeah. golden Gotta thank Thought Space Athletics. Uh, make an amazing disc. The Animus was crushing all weekend. Woo. Congrats. Thank you. That's it, guys. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the coverage. This is all a work in progress. And the work is not going to stop. Here 
is your top 10. A couple notable names there. Tyler Grady coming in fifth place at 13 down in the tournament. Marky Chap in eighth. Nate Tintin Vintenner in eighth place. Great tournament as always. Vacation Land is so much fun. If you haven't gotten a chance to play in it yet, come on up and join us here in Maine next time. As always, like and subscribe. Appreciate it a lot. Turn on that notification bell to see the next one. Thanks for watching.